As you can see, each plant produces hundreds and hundreds of fruits. Um, it's really, really prolific. If you have a few of these, you're not going to be short of acachoas, I can tell you that. The acachoa is a great vegetable. I talk about this in my unusual fruit and veg talks that I give for um, different garden clubs around the counties where I live. And I think this is a really fun one. It looks mental. It's got all these little spikes on it, which are completely soft. I can rub them off. You know, they don't, they don't hurt. Um, what it is, is a spindly kind of vine that grows and it grows quite rampantly. As you can see, look behind me, it's made um, quite the corridor. This is just two, I've got two plants in here and that's one too many. They really do grow rampant. I often joke that you could give this plant as a joke to someone, not tell them what it was and just watch it swamp their whole greenhouse because it just grows like mad. Um, the seeds are also really viable. So um, in this one, squirted me and I think it squirted the camera a little bit you can see full of seeds and uh, these are so hardy I often say they're shaped like little Bart Simpson's heads they got kind of like little spiky heads on them and um, the seeds are pretty indestructible so you grow them and they will just drop seeds and it will come back year after year but it's an easy weed to, weed to maintain as long as you get it early one year I grew these I grew a load of them saved the seed dried them out for a seed swap I'm part of and uh, when it came to dish up the seeds for the seed swap I got them out and I was really disappointed because in my little jar I put them in, they'd gone completely green over with mould. So I was, yeah, a bit, bit annoyed at myself. So I waited and just, I thought, right, I'm going to sow them anyway. So I sowed, you know, 200 seeds all on a tray, completely green with mould in the hope that one or two would come up. And every single seed came up, which was really good. Um, so really indestructible seed, really easy to grow. Kind of sow them April, May time. And uh, they grow better inside, but you can grow them outside. If these were outside now, they probably would have had been had by the frost already. Uh, this is October time, but they still grow in really well. And you can see how they grow and how rampant they, they've got tendrils all over them. They hook over everything. Here they swamp the tomato plant completely. They really do just like make it like a jungle. So you can see if I go down here, I really quite like it, but it makes it a bit jungle-esque as I'm kind of going through. feel a bit like David Attenborough coming through there, um, but it's great. It's a really fun vegetable to grow. So how you use them. So big ones like this, you cut in half, scoop the seeds out and you can fry it up like a green pepper. And then some smaller ones, I can find one now. Smaller kind of immature fruit like this. You can just eat fresh. It tastes like a slightly minty cucumber. It's really nice. You can put it in your salads or what have you. And it's really juicy as well. It's got some genuinely quite nice flavor in there. Um, they're related to exploding cucumbers, which you actually have to wear goggles when you harvest them. Uh, I've not grown those ones yet, which would fire the seeds out at about 30 miles per hour. But there's also a giant one as well. And the giant one is even more rampant growing. I've grown that one before. I grew it outside and it covered about five beds and uh, I didn't produce a fruit outside either. But that one grows to about that kind of size. Perfect in a big polytunnel. If you've got something you, you're not worried about growing anything else, you can put a giant acachoa in there and it's a great fun one to grow. Um, there are so many fruits on here though, you'd never be without once you've got one of the, a couple of these plants in. But part of me loves it. I love that kind of jungle feel to it and the fact that I don't have to really worry about them. It kind of suits my very lazy garden approach really well. Yeah, they're just a fun veg to grow. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below and tell me what your favourite unusual veg or fruit is to grow. Thanks for watching.